Hey guys, what is going on? Deboki here once again. It is time for a hero adventure. Actually, I'm on Sanix Boki, my hero bossing mule, and I wanted to go ahead and try to get maybe another piece of equipment, push a boss. We'll see what happens today, but she is level 215. I've been doing quite a bit of work with her um, on stream, actually, and it's been really fun trying to get her at a spot where I, I can comfortably leave her to make some good mesos weekly. I'm not gonna go through every single one of the items, but just gonna go and show you guys that I do have three of the permanent uh, abso gear going here. I do have a temp abso weapon. So next step would be to get the cape. That is what I'm trying to achieve today. And then I want to go ahead and eventually get the permanent abso weapon from Damien, which is going to be very soon. I just need one more Damien run and well, a lot of the cores, but we're gonna go ahead and at least try to get the cape and then see if I can push Damien solo with what I have here. Now, hero's stats fluctuates quite a bit, especially if you have the combat orders on, or not the combat orders, the uh, the combo orbs. So if I have my full combo orbs going, as you saw, the range jumped pretty high there. I I'm capping at about 6.4 mil with just these self buffs and about 12.6k stat. My IED is looking really low, which could be a problem in these boss pushes, but I'm gonna go ahead and just try to push it and see how it goes. But that's for later though. Uh, right now I'm not gonna do a boss at the moment. We'll probably do it at the end of this video, but I am gonna go ahead and also do a little bit of node management here. I'm gonna pull out a few Bill Mesos, which is gonna be really nice. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open up all these nodes because I think for bossing, nodes are pretty important so i'm gonna go ahead and open up 56 of these nodes a little tip for the nodes if you guys weren't sure you can just put it on a hotkey if you guys have a lot of nodes and just hold the button down and that's a good way to open up nodes so 56 nodes this was two training sessions with my marksman um and i got yeah about 56 so we can go ahead and get these nodes back in a later time. My marksman has almost all of his nodes. I think he just needs his skill nodes to be leveled up. All his tri nodes should be maxed though, so I'm not feeling as guilty using a batch for my hero. Where the Hades did this node manager go? Oh, there is no more node manager. The change now made it so that you can just do all your node management right in the V matrix here. Wow, so if I just do this, enhance, Perfect. I'll go ahead and enhance this. Just double check here. Let's craft this one. So let's craft some Cry Valhalla nodes. This is just to level it up. I want to go ahead and try to boost this up as much as I can. So I got nine Valhalla nodes. And let's go ahead and go view my nodes again and enhance. So now I can go ahead and just level this up. So it's going to be level nine now. And I think we started at 6. Oh, that's some big levels. Good. The goal is to level 40, I think. I think 40 is where you start getting IED, which is really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and do a weekly. I just want to try to get my cape, which comes from Scrapyard Weekly. So I'm going to go ahead and try to complete this, get the cape, and upgrade it as best as I can. Oh, this is going to be a little bit tough, too, because I don't have any drop rate. <laughs> Having drop rate when you're doing Scrapyard Weeklies is very nice, but unfortunately I do not have drop rate, so, oh, actually, I need to talk to the bot first, that would be helpful. There we go. Yeah, after playing Hero for a bit and learning a little bit more about the other warrior classes, I feel like Hero it is a little less impactful than the others, just kind of, again, what I've been hearing, I haven't really experienced post-Destiny Paladin or Dark, Dark Knight, but I gotta say, I just still really enjoy the Hero's aesthetics. I think she is a really pretty class and just very clean in general. I've always really liked heroes, I think, and oh my gosh, we got ourselves a little core drop there. Look at that. That's kind of rare. Nice. <laughs> An energy core. Also, if you guys didn't know, they did kind of make Scrapyard and Dark World Tree a bit better now. It was kind of brutal before because the weekly would only give you 12 cores and you need 20 for one coin. But now they changed it so that you do get the full 20 per week. So you're not with an off number and you're able to get your coins a lot faster, I feel like, which is nice. Future plans for Maple Story, though. I get asked this quite a bit. I know I've been kind of um, on and off with Maple here and there. On stream, I've been streaming a lot of other games. Just, you know, I've been... I like games. <laughs> So I, I like to play a lot of different types of games, I would say. Um, MapleStory is, of course, one of my favorites, but 
There's just some times where I'm itching to play something else. But I would say plans for Maple Story coming up. Of course, the Ignition update, our next new exciting update here right around the corner for GMS. Um, the the Hyper Burn, which is very anticipated. The Burn up to 250, I believe, is what it is. And the Cygnus Knight reworks. I do want to try to Hyper Burn a character, which, first of all, I do want to try to get my Marksman to 250. He is 244 at the moment, so get, getting there. But I'm slowly just working on him, trying out some other classes too. I want to Hyper Burn... I got a few in mind that I, I want to try to Hyper Burn. I, I don't know exactly who I want to yet. But it's either going to be Dawn Warrior, um, maybe continue my Bowmaster, who is level 2, I think, 20 or late teens. Maybe a Battle Mage um, was kind of piquing my interest, too. So I do have a few characters in mind that I want to try, but who knows? You know, I, I might just go for Dawn Warrior because of the, the occasion of a Cygnus Knight. But we'll see. 250, another 250 class sounds kind of intimidating especially because i don't have my first 250 so <laughs> finishing up sanic spoky here as my boss meal is of course on the radar starting another boss meal of some sort would be really cool i think boss meals are really fun to make i feel like just pushing a character to that boss level is is pretty rewarding and then you just get mesos and start funding other characters a lot easier so I, I do like making boss meals. I don't know who I want to make next. I might want to push Ice Lightning to get to boss status, or maybe an Adele, or a Kane. So that's that might be my next boss meal in, in the works. I do want to try out Buccaneer, at least get to fifth job. I've been working on a Corsair right now, and trying to see what fifth job is like with Corsair. Well, when I get classes the fifth job, it's not necessarily me wanting to push them, it's just me wanting to experience what what the classes are like just so i have some more comparison while i'm playing other classes and i think it's cool and plus it helps legion and all that good stuff i, I feel bad because like people come into my stream seeing me train something and be like oh what is this for legion or link i'm like neither <laughs> it's uh, for for my curiosity i guess but i guess all the classes at the end of the day will contribute to legion but for me it's just i want to see what the class is like because I do strongly believe a class will start at fifth job. You can really see what the class is, uh, um, the potential of the class at fifth job. So you gotta you gotta try to get the class to at least 200, which these days is not too bad. I think Maple Story made it so that getting to 200 shouldn't be too difficult because that is kind of when the game starts. Yeah, you just turn them all in here. Good, and then you get one more quest to hunt I think 300 of some or 200 or something so now we finished that quest and we got well 25 because I had a few extra cores in my inventory so now I'll go into my storage keeper and pick up the 20 that my marksman got for me thank you Bakichoy and I do have four cores here of from or from Lotus that I took down with the party that was quite fun we were doing a lot of Lotus runs um, on stream so I was getting some help from the community which was really great and I'm gonna go ahead and exchange my coins we're gonna get two of these perfect and now for the cape the beautiful cape and this is the one Abslab night cape let's get it awesome and cape is already better 79,000 better the flames are not good <laughs> flames are not good let's go and throw one flame on here see what happens uh flame is still not good D did not do anything to that so we do have the 5 10 15 coming up i think i could probably at least get this just to 10 stars just for that respectful 10 and then i'll wait to start a little bit more later once that event hits i, I think it's going to be in like the week of the 16th or something. <laughs> Yuki was looking creepy, man. Let me show you guys a picture here of Yuki really quick. I I, I was getting out of my car earlier today, and she was st like standing at the door waiting for me. My neighbors are decorating for Halloween, and they put a huge like murder blanket sheet, I guess, on their back porch. And the reflection was just 
align perfectly with her. I just had to snap a picture, but she she was looking a little spooky. She definitely had the October spooky month vibes going on <laughs> with with that picture. I posted it on my Instagram story here, and people are uh, people were a little concerned for me. Shall we do a little bit of cubing and maintenance before we uh, try to do some boss push here? Let me go to my lucky spot, though. Of course, you always want to hit your lucky spot up when you're doing these kind of things. We're gonna go between the two shoes. It has always been proven to be the best spot. I'm going to go ahead and try to find some epic potential scrolls. I have 150%. I hope that works. I'm going to get a gold stamp, two gold stamps in anticipation, of course, and two Bill Mesos. We'll see where that takes us. I do have some bosses I need to push uh, so we can replenish the Mesos back for the 5, 10, 15 event. But I think two Bill plus some cubes here, I, I feel like we should... We should have some good things going on, right? So let me go ahead and try to hit the 50% on this. You want to work. You know you want to work. I knew you wanted to work. You never not want to work. Three-lined also? Oh, you're treating me. You're treating me today. Oh my gosh. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and just push this through uh, up to 10 stars. At least 10. And then the 5, 10, 15 will give us a nice, a nice boost. Okay, 10 stars all the way? Oh my gosh, 10 stars all the way also? You didn't even fail once? I'm a little bit worried for this cubing session now. All right, so now we're we're increasing by 118,000. Very nice. Let me just use the cubes I have here first before we start, you know, purchasing extra cubes. I got some extra cubes from my previous cubing session. Uh, I'm just going to go and throw it on here, see if we can get... Oh my gosh, a tear up. <laughs> okay, well, we got the tear up. That was the one cube wonder. Uh, that a little bit alarming that that happened. Let's go and throw another cube on there. I was gonna say, if it teared up again, I might need to submit a ticket. Oh my gosh! I'm finished with the item. Three cubes on here, and it's 21% strength. I I'm gonna take this before I disconnect. <sighs> 331k. I spent, yeah, well, I spent no mesos on this, I guess. I spent a little bit on starring. That was kind of weird. I, mean, I feel weird. I, I don't know what to do. That wasn't supposed to happen that way. I think I'm going to get some flames, though, and try to fix the flames up. We'll, we'll get, like, maybe six of these flames, seven in total. I just want to see a little bit better than just 20 strength on here. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and throw on a flame. Magic attack, dex, don't want it, dex, all stats, all stats, oh, 61 strength, that's kind of interesting, I kind of want to see a nice combo of like strength and all stats, you know, 65 strength, I mean, I'll take the 65 strength, that's almost 400k, that's, that's not bad to settle with, I think that was a really good last flame, just to kind of chill, so my range right now, uh, with my self buff stats, 4.8 mil, 13.2k stat, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw this cape on. 14k stat, 5 mil range, wow, 5.2 mil range. That's looking really juicy. Let's do a C Zach run. I'm gonna save the buffs for later, but I'm gonna fully buff myself up for Damien um, when, when I'm going in. You know, buff freezers and all, of course. So I'm gonna go and turn on my bossing stance in Rage. I'm gonna also need full transparency because our skills align with Zakum's arm placements and we need to see. So <laughs> that's that's important. Speed infusion. The reason why I'm not using a decent speed infusion node is because luckily I did get speed infusion on my glove with crit damage. So I think this is a nice settling glove for now. Um, just being able to have another node slot because node slots are pretty are pretty important early on for bossing meals I feel like as well this will be our little test run kind of get a feel I don't know if I'm gonna burst right away here maybe I should yeah let me let me try to just practice getting the bursting stance because bursting does take a little bit all right I'm gonna go ahead and just pop my burst now so I am bursting at the moment How's it looking? I don't want to kill all the arms or he's going to 1-1. Oh, <laughs> well, 
There that goes. Guess that's a little too late. Oh, dude, that is actually looking really nice. I didn't look up at the health bar there. Woo! The burst! Oh, my! Sanex Bogey! Dude, that was, uh, that was a one burst for Czak. Very nice. Okay, cool. Could have been a little bit overkill, too, for him. But yeah, that felt really good. That was a huge improvement of what we hit last time. Let me get prepared for Damien. I just need one more Damien run so that I can get five stones. And then that will help me get the weapon, the permanent weapon, so that I can actually do some work on it. When the 5, 10, 15 event happens, I'll probably use a no boom room. I think I'm going to try to 17 star all my items on my hero. At least four items. Five. I think all my abso gear needs to get 17 starred, which is going to be super expensive. So let's go and go in here. I'm going to try to bind and burst and just see how the health is looking. Let's, let's kind of get warmed up a little bit in the fight though first before we just... We explode, you know what I'm saying? How's the health bar looking? It's not looking too good. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, just with a few hits here, but let's go and see how everything else is looking. Let's get our puncture wound on first. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop a burst and I'm going to now go for it. I'm gonna put down my sword. Ooh, that damage is looking a little bit sad this is going to be a fight man yeah i need i need ied so this is a good test though we see what 85 percent ied has and then once i get like 90 percent we'll come back into this fight and we'll see if we notice a difference hopefully we'll get 90 percent id with like similar stats i think that'd be pretty nice oh no i failed the test oh he kicked me out of the fire yeah, he wants me to succeed thank you um, nope, never mind. He does not want me to succeed. I I'm just like doing the time, like all 10 minutes, you know, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. We're going to be off. We're going to be a bit off on this fight. Well, we're getting there. We're getting there. I was really happy about the, the Czak takedown though. I think being able to take down Czak like that was really cool. Yeah, Damien, we do need some more ID. I'm going to actually just step out of this fight. What I'm going to do, though, while I have all this going, is I'm going to try to push a few more bosses, though. I think Hard Magnus? I was pretty close taking down Hard Magnus. Yeah, I think we're going to do pretty well in here once we pop the burst in a bind. I just got to be careful not to die, though. Let me get him down a little bit more before I pop the burst. I've never been able to solo Hard Magnus yet. But I think with our new upgrades, we should be in a good spot here for it. I don't really know how much the burst will do. So I'm going to wait just a little bit longer. Because once he gets into final phase and the, the blue area field slims down, it gets really tough. So you want to make sure you do the burst bind at a good time. Oh, he just hit me into it, didn't he? He did. Are we ready to try to see if we can half burst his health down here? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna start bursting. Yeah, let's go ahead and go. Uh, I'm gonna try to dodge this though really quick. It's okay. It's okay. I got buff freezers for this reason. I'm gonna pop my burst. I'm gonna pop this down. I'm gonna bind him. Binding and bursting. Make sure my puncture is on. Let's see how the burst is. Burst looks really good. I gotta keep it going though. He's, his bind's gonna wear off soon. Can we get it going? I'm gonna iframe. Oh, my iframe was a little weak. It's okay. It's all right. We, we still got a burst going. Burst is off. Burst is off. Wait. No, burst is still on. Burst is still on. I, I gotta get a few more hits in. Okay, now we're in trouble. <laughs> now we're in trouble. Shoot. That was close though. I didn't place my sword down, which that could have done some really good damage. Um, let's go ahead and just try to finish him off here with what we got. Gonna iframe. Gonna use my skill. Let's go! Okay, got a little bit shaky there. I, I think, yeah, you need a little bit more damage. I think right at the half health part is where I could fully burst down. Maybe a little less than half. Wow, nice. Good job, Sanic Spooky. Oh, you beautiful girl. That was some nice gains. I liked. I like to see that. You know, sometimes when you don't see a, a success, you gotta try to find your success in other places. It's, it is sometimes discouraging, you know, you do a huge upgrade and then, like, you can't take down a big boss that you've been trying to hit down, but you gotta, you gotta see that there is still big improvements and big growth that happened. 
like I was never able to take down a uh, hard mag, but yeah, that, that happened. So that was really great. That was a big push. I know hard Hilla, this is, this is going to be trivial. Hard Hilla is really not that bad anymore either. I don't think I need burst either for hard Hilla. I think my damage can, can do it. Yeah, we got this. I'm going to put down my sword here. Make sure puncture is on, and we're just going to go ahead and hit her down. There we go. Look at that. No burst needed now. That was actually really fast. I think normal Cygnus is a good boss to do as well. And yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, we're looking good. I'm going to try to iframe this. Okay. Kind of was a little bit late on that, but or early. Look, I got lucky, though. The only problem is when the mobs start to spawn is because whenever I'm in bossing stance, I can't hit more than one. Okay, so I want to see if I can magic crash her reflect. I think her reflect just came on, right? Is she reflecting? Uh, no, okay, now she's reflecting. I want to see if I can take her reflect off. I'm going to magic crash her. Oh, I did! I took her reflect off. Okay, that's so cool. Nice. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do CPAP. Everything is up. Um, let's go ahead and, oh wait, no, I need a skill. I need a skill in here, actually. There's something that's very important that I think I need in CPAP, and that is my shield. I think the blitz shield is going to be super important in here, so I'm going to have this on. I'm going to sacrifice a little bit of my burst, but to have this is going to be important, I think, just for survivability. So let's go ahead and throw this down. I'm going to get my burst ready. going to pop this, going to pop that. And I'm going to bind. I'm going to also put on my blitz shield here and try to burst down as much as I can. Am I, did I puncture? I did not puncture. That's okay. How's it looking? Oh, it's not looking good. Okay, so it's going to be a fight. It's going to be a fight. Yeah, we're fighting now. We're fighting now. I'm going to need to block this. Uh, I'm going to have to iframe this and also block the laser at the same time here. We might get locked, so I'm going to try to get some time going. Times two that. Get out of that. Nice. Like, as long as I can survive, I think I should be good. I'm going to try to Hero's Will this, just in case if it does. Iframe that. Nice. Good iframe. Do a little bit of a Rising Storm there. Good job. Make sure that's activated. I'm going to pop my... Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Nice. Okay, my Blitz Shield saved me there. My iframe, I think, is up, so I do have... I'm going to iframe here. Iframe the clock. I think that might cross beams, though, if I don't be careful. Or my stuck body might block it. I got to get out of that. I think I might be in trouble here. Yeah, I'm going to try to iframe. My iframe was not on. Oh, no! I used all my buff freezers. Ah... Dude, that was my mistake. I thought I bought a lot of buff freezer. I must have used a lot in Damien. I think I used a little too many in Damien. Let me go ahead and get buffed up again. Oh, and this is the damaging phase too. Well, let me at least try to get green pot on. Ah, that's fun. I don't have any more monster park pots either because I only bought one batch. We'll just try to do consistent damage here. Um, and when I'm feeling comfortable, I'm going to bind and burst because everything is up and ready. Let me try to do this. My body's kind of blocking. I think the beams are going to cross, though. I'm blocked. I'm blocked. I'm blocked. I'm blocked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's okay. I'm going to try to go in here again. All right. I'm going to try to bind and burst here, I think. Binding and bursting. My bind is on cooldown. Five seconds. Really? Oh, shoot. That's not good. Well, that was not what I wanted. I'm going to try to iframe this. I'm going to try to block that. That did not block, and I lost my burst. Okay. One life special? Any believers here? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's very doable. It's just I need to control my character better and have buff freezers, but yeah. That was, that was a solid attempt, though. Solid attempt. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that'll be it for this little video of Xanax Boki here. A boss push, hero meal love, <laughs> and all the good stuff. But thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you did enjoy. I think our next progression with Xanax Boki will 
maybe be our last. I think we need like a few more progression states or events happening with, with our hero in order to finish her off. But yeah, I am planning on leveling her up to 220. So maybe I'll do a little totem talks with her, a little training session with the hero. I kind of want to start working on our next bossing meal. I'm like eager for that too. So stay tuned for that. Of course, Marksman hitting 250 very soon here. Well, it's going to take a little while, but relatively soon hopefully we'll get him to 250 much love one love this has been deboki i hope you all are doing well and i'll be seeing you guys later goodbye